Dear students, welcome to another video. Hope you are doing okay and ready for this session of learning. This video is on BMAT Section 2 Chemistry Acids, Bases and Salts. Here is a summary of the learning objectives. Make sure to follow along with the full list which can be found on the BMAT website. Let us now start. Acids and bases have been known for a long time. When Robert Boyle characterized them in 1680, he noted that acids dissolve many substances, change the color of certain natural dyes. For example, they change litmus from blue to red, and lose these characteristic properties after coming into contact with alkalis, bases. In the 18th century, it was recognized that acids have a sour taste, react with limestone to liberate a gaseous substance, now known to be CO2, and interact with alkalis to form neutral substances. The definition of an acid centers on the proton, H+. The proton is what remains when a normal hydrogen atom loses an electron. The compound that donates a proton to another compound is called a bronsted lowry acid, and a compound that accepts a proton is called a bronsted lowry base. An acid-base reaction is the transfer of a proton from a proton donor, acid, to a proton acceptor, base. In a subsequent chapter of this text, we will introduce the most general model of acid-base behavior introduced by the American chemist G. N. Lewis. Acids may be compounds such as HClH2SO4, organic acids like acetic acid, CH3COOH, or ascorbic acid, vitamin C, or H2O anions, such as HSO4H2PO4HS and HCO3 and cations, such as H3O+, and H4+, and Al, H2O63+, may also act as acids. Bases fall into the same three categories. Bases may be neutral molecules, such as H2O, and H3, and CH3 and H2, and ions, such as hydroside, hydrogen sulfide hydrofan carbonate, carbonate, fluorine, and phosphorus, or cations, such as Al, H2O502+. The most familiar bases are ionic compounds such as sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide, which contain the hydroxide ion, O. The hydroxide ion in these compounds accepts a proton from acids to form water. We call the product that remains after an acid donates a proton the conjugate base of the acid. This species is a base because it can accept a proton to reform the acid. Have a look at some examples below. We call the product that results when a base accepts a proton the base's conjugate acid. This species is an acid. Have a look at some examples shown below. In these two sets of equations, the behaviors of acids as proton donors and bases as proton acceptors are represented in isolation. In reality, all acid-base reactions involve the transfer of protons between acids and bases. For example, consider the acid-base reaction that takes place when ammonia is dissolved in water. A water molecule, functioning as an acid, transfers a proton to an ammonia molecule, functioning as a base, yielding the conjugate base of water, O and the conjugate acid of ammonia, NH4+. A solution is neutral if it contains equal concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide ions, acidic if it contains a greater concentration of hydronium ions than hydroxide ions, and basic if it contains a lesser concentration of hydronium ions than hydroxide ions. The pH and pH scales represent concentrations of H3O plus and O respectively. The pH and pH values of some common substances at standard temperature, 25 degrees centigrade, are shown in this chart. Example reactions of acids with metal hydroxides, carbonates and oxides. One of the most common antacids is calcium carbonate, CaCO3. The reaction not only neutralizes stomach acid, it also produces CO2 gas, which may result in a satisfying belch. Milk of magnesia is a suspension of the sparingly soluble base magnesium hydroxide, MgO2. It works according to the reaction. Sodium oxide is able to react with hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride plus water. Metals can react with water to form alkaline solutions. Solid sodium can react with water to produce an alkaline solution of sodium hydroxide and gaseous hydrogen. Here are some key terms for this chapter. Diprotic acid, acid containing two ionizable hydrogen atoms per molecule. Diprotic acid ionizes in two steps. Diprotic base, base capable of accepting two protons. The protons are accepted in two steps. Monoprotic acid, acid containing one ionizable hydrogen atom per molecule. Tripritic acid, acid that contains three ionizable hydrogen atoms per molecule. Ionization of triprotic acids occurs in three steps. A strong acid is completely ionized, whereas a weak acid is not. A dilute solution of an acid has few protons, whereas a concentrated solution has many protons which can be determined by calculating the pH of a solution and comparing it to the pKa of the dissolved acid. A strong base is completely ionized in solution, whereas a weak base is not. A dilute solution of a base consists of few amounts of dissolved base, whereas a concentrated solution of a base has a high quantity of dissolved base. This can be determined by calculating the pH of a solution and comparing it to the pKb of the dissolved base. 
The solution is neutral when it contains equal concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide ions. When we mix solutions of an acid and a base, an acid-base neutralization reaction occurs. However, even if we mix the trimetrically equivalent quantities, we may find that the resulting solution is not neutral. It could contain either an excess of hydronium ions or an excess of hydroxide ions because the nature of the salt form determines whether the solution is acidic, neutral, or basic. That is a summary on acids, bases, and salts. As always thank you and make sure to have a look at some past papers as a part of your revision. The next video is on rates of reaction.